Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about the latest on those tropical waves that are moving across the region. And there is also a cold front that is going to be entering the Northwestern Caribbean and bringing impacts to some areas. And then a few models are picking up on the possibility of us seeing some development taking place in the Caribbean as we're going to be heading into next week. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics and to share support for the channel you can leave a like on this video okay and so let's go ahead and kickstart things with what is currently happening across the north atlantic so returning to the satellite imagery here we're seeing quite a bit going on that cold front is quite prominent as it is making its way uh down extended from the Gulf of Mexico out into the Atlantic and so along this boundary we have quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity and uh, we have a lot of cold air that is behind that boundary as well and so this is going to be as I said before, it's going to be impacting some areas and areas that are already being impacted include Mexico, Florida, portions of the Bahamas, as well as Cuba and sections of uh, Central America, such as Belize. And so uh, this front is going to be stalling in the northwestern Caribbean. It's going to become a stationary front. It's not going to be moving. But while being so, it is also going to be weakening and eventually dissipating there. And so uh, that is what is on the horizon. So it is likely that this cold front is going to be producing quite a bit of rainfall in the areas to be or being impacted right now as well as those uh, strong gusty winds and also those very cool temperatures and so uh, as for the tropical waves now so we have three tropical waves across the region across the main development region of the Atlantic and one is noted across the Caribbean that is going to be entering the Eastern Pacific. And so along that one in the main development region, that middle one, there is a low pressure area associated with it. And that is where we're seeing all of that activity taking place. And none of these waves are marked as a tropical disturbance right now to be watched for possible development. But nevertheless, we're going to be uh, keeping an eye on what's happening across the tropics. And so as we take a look at this map right here, this is a forecast map from the National Hurricane Center. We're seeing where this cold front is going to become stationary, and that is what these symbols represent, where we have the triangles and then those semicircles on the other side. So that is what it indicates, a stationary front. Uh, and stationary meaning it's going to stall in the region, as I said, and gradually weaken and dissipate. And by that time, uh, we're also seeing here where the tropical wave that is currently approaching the Lesser Antilles will be making its way across the Eastern Caribbean and propagating westward. And so guys, now let's go ahead and talk about what is currently happening in terms of conditions and then the possibility of that tropical system developing in the Caribbean. And so, so kickstarting things with the wind shear map, we're seeing here that the unfavorable shear, which is marked by those red lines, is being quite dominant. So uh, we're not really seeing anywhere that has a very large area of favorable wind shear. We see some areas out there in the Atlantic but uh, for the most part that unfavorable shear is being quite dominant and if we're talking about possible development from the say the Atlantic basin we have such unfavorable wind shear then it wouldn't be likely for us to see much development because that shear really helps to prevent uh, intensification and organization and it helps to displace shower and thunderstorm activity and then in terms of this water vapor map we have dry stable conditions extended across a uh, majority of the Caribbean right now and this is likely to uh, result in mainly sunny conditions across uh, islands of the Caribbean with the possibility of those afternoon showers of course and so guys now let's go ahead and talk about what the models are expecting as we're going to be heading into next week and so we'll be looking at the GFS model and so uh, this is a map showing the isobars and that is the black lines they are lines of equal pressure and when we see them in a circular manner with the pressure being at least below 1013 millibars uh, that is when we could be looking at a low pressure area and so the lower the pressure is the stronger the system so this is by Tuesday of next week on the
the 25th of October, and we're seeing that the GFS is picking up on that low pressure area in the Caribbean and showing quite a bit of moisture. That is what those greens represent, uh, quite a bit of moisture in the region. And so as we head to Wednesday, the 26th of October, here we are seeing a lot more moisture within the area, a lot of precipitation, and we have that uh, 1007 millibar low pressure area and then eventually the model has the system making its way a bit up to the northeast or north northeast and uh, we see that the pressure is decreasing and the isobars are kind of coming together and so eventually the model does show that there will be development taking place off this and I've been watching the GFS runs for a while and it, uh, the model has been picking up on that uh, system coming from the Caribbean now. But I mean, this is not uncommon because this is where to expect development at this time of the year. So we typically have slowed development uh, across the main development region. But as we head towards the Caribbean, things might be a little bit more favorable. And we typically see systems that uh, might originate from the southern part of the basin and make their way up to the north. And so another model, the NavGem, is also picking up on that system for next Wednesday so that low pressure area for next Wednesday so let's wait and see what's going to be happening guys but of course nothing is ever guaranteed because there can be a lot of changes but to really help to uh, solidify on this looking at the global tropics hazards outlook map right here from the climate prediction center between the 26th of October and the 1st of November here we are seeing that uh, we have that red highlighted area in the Caribbean and that is representing a low chance of tropical cyclone formation. So that low probability is there but that area is highlighted which means that there is that chance that we could maybe see something within the area. So this is something to definitely watch out for. And in terms of the rest of the hurricane season, I personally think that we could see maybe one to three more named storms. Uh, so the next name to be used is Lisa. And uh, currently we don't have any marked disturbances, though we're seeing that we have all uh, these models picking up on that possible Caribbean system. But there is nothing solid on that as of right now, guys. But uh, let's see what's going to be happening. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is going on across the tropics and so that is really it for right now and so just to recap we have that cold front that is extended from the gulf of mexico going out into the atlantic uh, and along that boundary there is all of that shower and thunderstorm activity and uh behind that front we have cooler than normal temperatures that will be affecting areas of the northwestern caribbean the bahamas as we're going to be heading into the next few days and then uh we also have those tropical waves propagating across the region one of which which has a low pressure area associated with it where we have quite a bit of activity taking place. And so I'm going to be keeping you guys updated as time goes by. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with wise.